who subscribe me every single day because it is very important for me to know who connected with me because I need to connect back to the people. So that's why it is very, very important. I know I have a notification. Let me open my notification. Travel with Jay. Okay, he's uploading. See, I always click my notification because I want to know what they're doing. And this one, Bernadette Peregrino. Um, she subscribed me and I was being told also by. I have a new subscriber. I have two today. Okay. The top one. Uh, Peregrino. Say Bernadette. Thank you, Bernadette Peregrino. A new subscriber today. I have two, Bernadette Peregrino. And is in Sunny TV. So I'm I'm thankful those people that they put their subscription public so I can check and I will know that they are. So well here I am sub this woman I I connected with her. I don't know if she does connected with me. She leave me a note one time and I went to her channel, tried to connect with her. I don't have any notification that she connected me back, but she lead me a message one time saying, let me see the message, see? Message will not prove you anything. It has to have a confirmation from YouTube that this person subscribe you. If it doesn't say, that means the person didn't even do anything. Because they only say, Oh, so and so give a heart to your message, this and that. So, what is the heart? Because if you, if the person subscribe you, the YouTube will tell you the person subscribe you. And I have two today. And since I went to the channel first, and they came back to me. See, they always sell. YouTube will tell you. Someone subscribe you or not, see? YouTube. But if it's private, YouTube will not do this. They will not. So that's why I always know if the person subscribe me or not. So if I subscribe people and then I check and they're not even on my subscribers list and they're not even subscribing me back or something like that, you know, I can always tell because I will receive email. YouTube, it, YouTube itself will, will notify you. And I also know some people, they don't, they don't check yet because they're new. You know, those new people, it's very understood that they never make it public yet because they don't even care yet because they didn't even upload, upload a video. Then we understand those people. But for those people that had a lot of videos already, they already had a lot of subscribers and yet they still put their subscription pub private those it's so hard to understand but i know a lot of new ones before i am private too until i learn how to make it public everyone goes that way because it's private to begin with okay so they make it by default it's up to us to change it they put it by default private that doesn't mean you cannot change it. It's your own choice choice to, to change it. But you have to. Otherwise, what? <laughs> you know. So, hello, hello. 
my crazy gamer, it's my Angelo. And I have one more. Who is the other one? Is that you? Who is another one? There's another. There's another one, Dad. Um, put this away, hun. Okay, I'll show you already my, my unboxing that I have. The two gallons of alcohol came. So for a while, I will not run out of an alcohol. Two gallons. Two gallons of alcohol. Oh, my God. I'm happy. Why? Because I'm a clean freak person. <laughs> I always clean and I always sanitize. And everything, every time I didn't, at work, I didn't even remove my gloves. What I did, what I did at work, okay, I sanitize my hands, sanitize my hands, and then after that, wear gloves. And I keep that gloves until I go out. I never remove it inside where I work because this is this is my common sense, okay? This is my, my humor. Why do you going to remove it and then you still have to walk in a walkway where there is an avalanche or there's a lot of people pass it, okay? This is it. You wear a, the reason why I wear gloves because I'm a, I'm afraid that there's gonna be like contamination on the the surface, you know, because some people you never know what they have, you never know everything, you never know, okay? So I clean my hands, I sanitize it, I wear the gloves the whole time, I never remove it until I am in my car. Why? Because I don't wanna take the chance to get something on the air and get into my pores, you know, get into my hands because you want to be clean. You don't want to get whatever. So I get inside the car and that's where I have to get my gloves and put it in the trash inside the, the car because you take it out first and then after that, you put it in your other hand and you take you put it right and then that's it. You put it in your trash. That's how you do it. So... Why I, I saw a couple of co-workers, they wear gloves too, but I don't know, maybe they just don't I don't know, maybe maybe they just want to remove it inside yet. But me I don't I remove it until I reach in the car because I kind of freak. <laughs> I'm a, a clean freak person. What I was thinking, if I remove the gloves, you never know, by any chance maybe I touch my hands by a little thing on the door or or there is something on the air and it gets into my hands. I don't want that. Why? Because I use my hands to eat. I use my hands to, for everything. So I want, I want my hands always clean. So what I did is I sanitize. I wear gloves the whole time. And then we, I only take it off. And I'm the, after I take it off, I sanitize my hands again. That's what I did. And then every time I go to the bathroom, I wash the gloves. The gloves always clean. I wash the gloves because my hands inside is clean, right? Because I use sanitizer. The only thing that get dirty is the outside of the gloves. The outside of the gloves. So if I go to the bathroom, I wash the gloves. Because I consider the gloves as part of my hand. Until I remove it from my hand. And that's what I did. And then after that, we go out for a break. I take it off. I put it in the trash and then sanitize my hand. And then after that, I go back inside. I don't have anything. When I go inside, I don't have anything in my hands. I, my, my brain is telling me, oh, oh, you pass somewhere the whole way that there's a lot of people pass it, like from different departments, from CCA, from engineering, from the laboratory, from upstairs, from everywhere, mixing in that surface, the air in that hallway. That's if I want to be clean where I work, where I know who work in there, I want to be more clean in the area where I don't know who passed there. So that's why I didn't remove. And my cap, my, 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 uh, what do you call this one? The cap that we're wearing, honey? Yeah. Cap. Yeah, the cap, the lab cap, the cap. The cap that we wear inside the laboratory, I didn't remove it. Never. What I did is I put like three of, three of it after the three, three cups on my head. And then I went inside and I have my headset and then I make it four. And then after that, when I am outside, I remove one of them. I remove one, the very top one, and throw it in the trash and go back inside. 
it's tell why I do that because I want to protect my hair. I don't want my hair to collect anything from the air also. So I keep the cap on my head. Why? Our hair, in case you don't know, our hair is the filter, okay? You can use this as a filter. This will collect. This will collect. And this, of all the contamination you're afraid to contaminate, is your hair. Because whatever gets in here, and if you don't clean it, and it will go mm, to your nose, to your eyes, you are contaminating yourself by your hair. So what I did is I keep my cup. I never remove it until I get home. I took it by the door in my house. And that's the time I go get the spray, 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 spray of alcohol. Spray it, rain it on me. And then take things, everything off, put it in the bin. That's what I did. Because I don't want to take the chance that my hair will collect something on the air. Because, you know, this micro virus will stay on the air. And people keep passing by on the hallway every single minute before we come in. And then when, especially during the break time, people go for break and then come back. 33 hours, you never know who's there before you and then you pass. And when you pass in that area, what happened? You collected what's on the air. So... I don't want it to go to my hair. So I keep my cap. I never remove it because I don't want whoever stand right there before. If the person, you know, the asymptomatic people, the asymptomatic people are the people who are positive, but they have no symptoms. So they were healthy. They look healthy. They look okay. They, you never see them cough, you never see them have fever, you never see them have everything, but but they are positive. So those positive people that had no symptoms, they are the ones who tend to spread this virus. Not the people that had symptoms. Why? Because you know they're sick, you can stay away from them right away, but for the people that no signs at all, you never know. So you, the, you did not stay away from them. You never, maybe you're sitting next to them. You never know because they have no symptoms. That's why I am freak. I cover my head and I only remove that cup until I am home. And my gloves, I only remove the gloves until I'm inside the car. And then when I go back before I even hide, hi, Eunice Hangli, shout out po sa lahat. Okay, shout out. Hello, Crazy Gamers. Yunis Hangli, Evelyn's journey po ito. Okay, hi Evelyn. Kunti lang kasi yung tao ko ngayon, pinag-uusapan natin <laughs> ay yung ano yung yung pagka-freak ko. Oo, sige. Oh, work mode. Oo. Ako ka darating pa lang namin galing sa ano, galing sa trabaho kaya ayun sinishare ko lang yung how you have to now. Because especially asymptomatic people, they have no signs. You will not know. And so that's why I am so freak. I'm inside the laboratory because I work in the lab inside the laboratory. Everything I have on me, I never take it off. Never. Until I, especially my cup, I take it off until I get home. What I did, I put a lot of cup. I removed the top one. Put it in my car. And then after that, when I get back inside the lab, uh, inside the lab, before I put the new one on the top, I remove one again, put a new one on top of it. That's what I did. I didn't take the chance of the air or bad air or contaminated air to get into my hair. Because our hair is the filter. This will collect a lot before before our body and things collect because our, our body will only collect, you know, they can... They may be like, for example, you're sweating. They get into your pores, but they cannot get into your body. No, they cannot because they they are only going into the area like your nose and your and your cornea that they can create something that they can penetrate to your cells. That's 
they, their entryway of this virus is nose and the eye. So they, if you're sweating, they can maybe stay there. And then after that, because you did not clean yourself, they, are, they were there. So what you have to do is wash your hands very well and, you know, all the way to your elbow so to make sure you are clean. And me, because I'm a clean freak person, <laughs> because I'm a clean freak person, I always clean like crazy. I clean like crazy because I don't want to take the chance of having a contaminated and my cup. I always wear it. I only take it off when I'm home. That's all. So I keep on doubling it. I double it until like four. One, I put it by the forehead to cover the cup. It goes all the way in here and it's covering it like that because in case there is a bad, the contaminated air, it protect my eyes. And I wear my glasses like that and the cup, the lab cup, laboratory cup is covering here like that. And my nose was covered by my mask down here. That's why. So everyone maybe wonder me at work why I wear a lot of cups. I don't care. Maybe they were just like, oh, maybe she's kind of like paranoid. I don't care because I want to be safe. Then sorry. So the cup is right here. I really make it pull it and then make it laying like that. So the, the, the rubber is in here and then double. So that's what my cup and then I double it, double it. So I make sure that from here going down to my neck. I have three. I have three. And then plus the one that I cover on the top, four. So, and then when I am when I went to my car, I took one of them, throw it in the trash. So I still have three on my head. When I go back to work, before I went inside to the shower room, which we turn up already the shower room, I remove one again, throw it in the trash. I, do. I make sure I'm clean. And now I'm so happy because my two gallons of alcohol is arri arrived already. So now my control freak continues. <laughs> Put that one away, Dad. Put that one in the... And see? Right where we sleep, we sleep with the Purell. So this is the brand I like a lot. And I did not... So far, I don't know. My, we did not see any any sanitizer yet in the in the pharmacy and in the store yet in store here. Not, not the Purell. So I don't know what's going on with this thing. This is the one that I like. And this Purell's is the one in that. Hospital. Yeah, this is they maybe they supplied hospital, so they don't have anything for public thing, you know, over the counter. So they supply it in hospitals. But this is the one I want. Two times sanitizing strength. Maybe because most of the hospitals and you know they need it so much. So you cannot see this brand yet in in pharmacies or any store. And I always sleep because when you go to, before I go to sleep and then when I wake up, first thing I have to do is sanitize my hand. And then after that, get up, go to the go to the bathroom, brush my teeth and everything, and that and inside inside the bed before I go to sleep I run out this you know because we went out so I go even if we took a shower already we took a shower me and my husband every time we come home we took a shower so, so I'm trying to make sure there's nothing left <laughs> that's what I did I always do this thing lint brush I always I'm I'm a control I'm a clean freak person that's who I am. So some because I kind of like I feel like if I see dirty or something, I like one time like um our neighbor's cat. I don't know maybe we are the one who feed our neighbor's cat because they're like a they're like a stray cat because they leave their cats wandering along. I have a cat, but they are inside the house. We don't we never let our cat go outside, and it's only our rabbit is outside, but the cat is inside the house. They are, actually, they are because they're two. They stayed inside the house. Those cats that keep on passing in our yard, we feed them. But, you know, those a couple of days that they keep on raining and raining. But I did not expect, 
I don't know what happened, but the cat, I was so sad because the cat that looked like my cat, he passed away that we don't know. So kind of like maybe he hide under one of our thing in the backyard. And so I kind of like, every time I open my door in my bucket, I smell something. So I look at it and oh my God, the cat was there. I think he, he I think he passed for two days already or a day because, because I asked my children because they keep on going into the rabbit. I said, baby, when you go check the rabbit, did you smell anything? They said, no, mommy, we did not. So I said like, how could you guys didn't smell it? Well, me, I just, I opened the door and I smell it and just get into my nose. So I go and look for it and it's right there. And so Gerald and my son buried it in the backyard. But, oh my God, I throw up after I learned. I kind of like, ew, I can't imagine that. Oh my God. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> but, yeah. Oh God. <laughs> I need something. Honey. Hmm. weird. Yuck. Ew. Mm. Yeah, that's how freak I am. That's why when I try to go take up nursing, I quit. <laughs> With all those things over. But when I was in elementary, though, I don't know what happened to me. When I was in elementary, we, I'm a... I'm good in science. I'm always a contestant for math and my math quiz and science. So I don't know what happened, but I just can't take it anymore. But I used to, well, we never cut frog, but we we have this study of things, you know. But almost there, almost. My God, we. Are asked to bring our own frogs for the carnival, like oh yeah, really? So kind of like okay, so frog is the closest figure of a human being, so that's what we have, and I can't, so I quit. I'm a quitter, okay. My daughter, the same thing. My daughter Janeline, she's taking up. Um, when she was in high school, she she took up. Um. Oh, I forgot. LPN, okay? And now she's assisting or she was, you know, they were students, right? And she's almost finished, almost as in, she's doing intern already. She's on her internship. And she saw this blood, the smell of the blood, she almost passed out. She can't take the smell of the blood because they there's a surgery and she was assisting and she almost passed out. So she quit. Just like me, I quit <laughs> because after I saw all the small intestine and thing, I can't eat noodles for months and months. And most of the time, those are my stock because, you know, you want everything in your closet. Like if you were a student, you're living in a dorm or in the thing, you want all the stuff that you can use. And when I was studying, I stayed at, I'm, I'm, I have a lot of stuff at home because after I study, or after the whole night of reading all the books, and then after that, you want to just rest right away. So the only thing I have is the noodles. I put the noodles. and Then before the noodles I have is, I always put it in the microwave. Now I'm scared because they said, no, you cannot do the because it's a foam. So that's what happened. And like, oh my God, the noodles look like small intestine. Like, especially the way they they put it until like, you know, um, one day, like my son was kind of eating it and I saw him eating. Okay, I think I'm, I'm, I move on. <laughs> but now that I'm old, I'm still those thing, but I don't know if I can handle. No, I can't. <laughs> just, just imagining that I'm holding all those things and then the knife and then you're going to cut the thing. You're going to check everything. Oh, I can't. I can't. So I can't be a nurse. My brother, he's a nurse. Um, no. <laughs> That's why I become an engineer because I become a computer. I studied computer when I was in Hong Kong. 
That's why I'm trying to do business management. That's why I'm trying to do graphic designer because I am afraid of all those those things. I can't handle it. No, I can't. Just by imagining my 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 hair, I have a goosebump by just imagining it. And I'm scared of a needle. So if someone will take me a blood, I just go like that. And I didn't even go. <laughs> One time when I was pregnant, you have immunization, right? And so I work in the clinic. So um, they're going to immunize me in the clinic where I work. So I was kind of holding like that because I'm so scared with the needle. And then they said, Belina told me, Joy, it's done. I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's finished. I didn't even know because I'm so scared. I close my eyes. I don't know if it's finished. <laughs> They keep on closing it. And I didn't, I don't know what she did. I didn't feel it. I didn't feel anything. But I am scared looking at the needle approaching my, <laughs> my beautiful skin. <laughs> I'm so scared, cat. I'm, I'm, I'm putting the needle. And I'm sorry, guys. My husband snores already. Hmm. I think we're almost, we're going to just stay for an hour and so we just have to keep it up. We keep on doing it like every day and guys, I Eunice Hungly Vlog, Crazy Gamer and if you want, just go visit each other, search the name and unahan na lang, unahan tapos balikan, ganoon na lang. Ako, Pagdating dito sa akin, wag na kayong magpaalam sa akin kung pwede bang maglapag. Okay sa akin, maglapag kayo na maglapag dyan. Wala akong pakialam kasi hindi ako yung tipong tao na, na magagalit. Hindi ako magagalit kasi yun ang ano natin, ang pakay ng live stream natin eh, na mag-gather tayo ng tao. Makapag-connect tayo, yun ang purpose ko na makapag-connect. Yun nga lang, maliit na channel pa lang ako. So kung makapag-connect man ako, iilan lang. Pero ito si Eunice Hangley. Nandito ito kagabi. Uh, crazy Gamer. Wala ka kagabi. Pero si Eunice Hangley nandito kagabi. Bisitahin mo si Eunice Hangley please. Siguraduin nyo. Subscribe, like and share and comment. So that we know. And well, yeah I know. People challenge me to do things. Um, but I couldn't do the challenge they asked me to do because I have a bad shoulder and the person want me to pull because one time I tried to make a, make a joke on it like, you know, because I cannot turn it or I can make the motor running. So I put my leg right on top of the, right on top of the, by the handle. And so the person want me to do that and I couldn't, my shoulder and, but I can do a hammering, but pulling I can't because it's another way. But hammering is steady going down. I can do it. But pulling is really is another thing because I need to exert force by pulling it. And it's really different. But you can ask me to do something else. Okay, comment below what you want me to do. And, you know. If I can do it, I will do it. But if I cannot, I will say sorry. Only things that I can do, you know. There's also one challenge that uh, someone, someone, someone want me to do like, what? Bra, no bra and no underwear thing? Oh, no, I can't do that. I can wear two-piece because that's what I wear every time we go to the beach. We wear two-piece. But no bra and panty on the screen. I don't know if I can. Maybe it depends on what I am wearing. <laughs> I don't know. I always wear bra. <laughs> I can't do it, maybe. Or maybe I can. No bra. Oh, why not? I have something to show. But no underwear. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> I just can't imagine the no underwear thing. 
Yeah, um, where is it? Um, I have 